Hey everybody, it's Gameragi. We're back with Alan Wake. We just went through a crazy Ferris wheel of Alan Wake's experiences, and now we're in Stucky's gas station. Hunting rifle. Uh, let's see how much ammo I have for it. Another memory may not enough. Wake would never make it. The uh, insanity no, he was maybe. facing was already a part of it. In him, his own doing. He couldn't possibly win. He didn't even want to. That's not entirely true. I actually would like to win. Let's see. Well, there's the fuzzy dice. Yay! Wee! Memories. <laughs> Open. Die. At least the lighthouse was much closer now. I would have to make my way up there somehow. You know, this stream is so abstract, I would not be surprised if it was actually a lot farther than it looks. There is a lot of poop going on. Booms everywhere. Ugh. At some crazy gas station. To the light. Just get to the light. <laughs> Jump. Ah. Uh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Let's see. Wire. Reload. Wire. What does a wire do? Oh! Oh, I see. I gotta connect the wire. Alright. Uh. Oh. Do, do, do. Should probably start this. There was no power to the log lift. Oh, oh, oh okay. Shotgun ammo! I just traded in my shotgun. Dang it. There we go. So I gotta connect all these wires before I can do this. Oh! Wow, I just one shot a big guy with a hunting rifle? That's crazy. Okay. Behind the gas station. Here we go. Woohoo! I know how electricity works. Just uh, create telephone poles out of nothing with your flashlight of justice. Hmm. Well, things are starting to look a little less ab abstract. They're still kind of scrambled up, but. It's kind of weird. Ooh. Hello, Dunkishan. Dunkishan, all oh, is Dunkishan. Oh, look at all the lights. Pretty. The part of you that is in control is in the cabin, dreaming and insane. I don't think I like that. You represent the part of our life that is conceived by flesh and form, which is why I want to If that plan properly controls 
and you have a chance of making it. But a part of you wants to give in. There's comfort in the oblivion of dreams. You represent the part that isn't ready to quit and die. Wait, are you telling me I'm not real? You're as real as anything else in this place. So there are two of me? Yes. And the one you called Mr. Scratch, he's me as well? No. Zane, are you playing some kind of game with me? How can you say that when you wrote that page about me and the clicker? It wasn't one of my pages. You directed me to it. You had Weaver guard it. Yes, she was me. And you didn't get the clicker. But, but, I don't know. What? I don't understand. You should keep going. Zane? Zane! Come on! Uh, well, that cleared <laughs> things up. No, it didn't. Actually, made things a little more muddy, I would say. Hmm. Mr. Scratch. Yeah, Mr. Scratch was at the end of the last game. Er, <laughs> the last game. The end of the main story. Just kind of standing there, smiling like a freak. So Mr. Scratch isn't me, but there are two of me. So what's Mr. Scratch? He's just... Figment of imagination. Whew. Always gotta check behind you. It's almost always one there. Freaking jerks. Whew, I like this hunting rifle. <laughs> He's doing the job, man. Get things done. Boom, boom, boom. I want boom. Thank you. I want big boom. I want big boom. Big bada boom. So, am I still on the bridge? What am I doing? I'm climbing this weird thing. Huh. The bridge groaned in the unnatural wind. It was heralding the enemy's arrival. Wait, wouldn't leave this place alive! Rungo. Pump action. Alright. Fine. Crumble, 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 cr Boom. Crumble. Uh. Boom, I want boom! All in the pits I create with my mind. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. I haven't seen a farmer with a shovel in a long time. Didn't even have to use my flashbang. Oh, it's not over. It's definitely not over. Crumble, 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 go. Boom! I want boom! No, I want boom. Yeah. Whoops. Better not fall in one of these pits. I'm gonna be really upset. Okay. Looking good. Hopefully no more enemies. <laughs> Cause I don't got any more crazy words to bring out. But I hear you, Zane. A moment. I can help you here. Doing with that tree, man. How the hell are you doing that? 
a good question. It's like learning to control your dreams. There's a connection. Oh you were in my dream. Yes. I taught you. You fixed the foolish mistake I made with Barbara. I did. I uh, stuck the clicker right in their little uh, heart hole. Hearty heart hole. Hearty hearty heart. Hearty, hearty, hearty. Yeah. Assume that's how I fixed it. But, uh, yeah. Rock! And it was so. It's looking more and more realistic. Like, it's more continuous. Okay. I say before this crazy bridge. Oh, no. Some health, please. Police, police. The heck are these? Oh, it's that statue that was in front of the mental, uh, the Hartman's place. It's like this weird light eyeball. Weird. Whoa! I'm so distracted by it. Those are pretty sweet, though. Oh, save me! Wow, I've never died to birds before. That was nuts. That was nuts. I need flares, thank you. At least I'm being attacked by birds again and not my own books. La 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 la. <laughs> wow, I'm so glad. Woody Warrior told me I could carry flares. It's very useful. Uh, wow, okay. Ooh, this is not good. Uh, flare time! Perfect. Birds came and everything. See ya, sucker. <laughs> You're dead. You're all dead. That's what you get. That's what you get. Oh, whoa, the flash is turned back into words. I didn't even notice. Oh, well. I handled it. I handled Wake it. ran for the light. It was pointless. He would never reach it. His life would be snuffed out just as easily as the very thing he thought would save him. No! Oh, the light gone. All I could do was keep going. It's true. Uh, oh god. Please don't attack me on these. That would be good. Whew. Do they actually make bridges like this that hang under underneath like that? That's, uh, that looks really dangerous. Wow. Okay, right into a house we go. A lot of problems, Alan. I do, I do. I'm so glad you decided to come back to me. Hartman. It's really dark. Since we're being so frank here, Alan, and let me just reiterate how happy I am that you've had this breakthrough, I would like to summarize your condition. By all means. And please, just let me know if you think I'm being unfair. All right. Well, let's start with the obvious. The car crash. Untreated head trauma. All due respect to Doc Nelson, but he's hardly a neurosurgeon. 
I think that the injury has affected you more than you realize. Yeah, I, I have had bad headaches. Then there's your history of substance abuse, which, combined with your chronic insomnia, has resulted in hallucinations and extremely poor impulse control. That's a dangerous combination, one which your wife has unfortunately had to suffer from far more than you. I know. I know she has. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that you are existing in a state of all-encompassing denial. Your vivid fantasy casts you as a heroic victim and allows you to skirt responsibility for your own actions. It allows you to solve your imaginary problems and dismiss the things that truly trouble you. In your self-serving delusions, your personal problems are assets that allow you to save Alice, perhaps even the world. Dr. Harmon, I... I think that's spot on. I can't argue with any of that. Well, I'm sure I'm stating the obvious. I don't want to labor the point, but, well, um... No, no. I understand. It's important that I face it. Precisely, Alan. You've put so much effort and imagination into this self-deception, but what good has it really done for you? You refused my offer of help, and here you are. Did being so obdurate really get you to a better place? No. No. And did it really help Alice? Was this really the best thing for your wife? Probably not. Probably not. Why don't we find out? You know, I've been talking with her. There's something she wanted you to hear. Oh, hey. That sounds like fun. What? This is very strange. <laughs> I ever wanted was to help you, Alan. I ate all the shit you handed out and tried to understand your pathetic, wealthy white male drama until my life consisted of managing your never-ending crisis. I hate you for your childish temper and the arrogance and self-indulgent pride that undermine all efforts to drag you out of the hole you insisted on digging for yourself. I hate you for leaving me in the dark with that insane monster bitch! All you had to do was act like a loving human being for once in your life and stay with me. If your dramatic exit hadn't been more important than making sure I was all right, she would never have taken me. I don't know where you went, but that's okay. I don't want to know. I don't think I'll ever be all right. The only thing that keeps me from killing myself is the hope that I'll never see you again. Lies. I, I just can't argue with that. I think I should stay here before I ruin what life she has left. I think this is a breakthrough, Alan. I'm really very proud of you. Mr. TV, you, you're not very... You're not me. You're not me, Mr. TV. Mm -mm. I don't think so. It was nonsense. I, just don't. I knew I'd saved her. I'd succeeded in that, and that was all that mattered. What I heard in there wasn't the truth. It was just another toxic mirage. It cut deep, but that made me all the more determined to force myself to snap out of it. I didn't want to be that guy anymore. I had to make myself see the light. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. I'm actually going to end this episode off here. So hopefully we can reach the lighthouse in the next part. <laughs> hey, a plane. So, yeah. I'll see you guys next time.